Welcome back to the Mike Will Experiment, everybody. I am here today to talk about Game Builder Garage. If you are new to the Mike Will Experiment, make sure you like and subscribe for more Game Builder Garage. Now, this video is an interesting one. I know we're all excited because Game Builder Garage will be here very soon. In fact, we'll be streaming it live on Friday. Now, what am I talking about in this video, though? Well, I wanted to go over the Nintendo Terms of Service and really talk about your ownership of these games. Do you own these games? Does Nintendo own these games? I don't think the answer will surprise you. Um... There's certainly a lot in the TOS that most people probably won't read, so I thought I'd save you the trouble, and I went ahead and looked that up for you. So, I'm just going to read out of the terms and conditions, and you can see that your projects really aren't your projects. They say you own them, but you don't really. Now, this is the Nintendo Account User Agreement. Um, what we're looking for in this agreement is going to be Section 6, which is user generated content okay so we're going to go all the way to section six as you can see here user generated content um and you are going to go all the way down here and i want to read this to you the nintendo account services may allow you to create and share user generated content user generated content means text images audio video or other content games that you create and share with the public or other users of the account service you own your user-generated content. However, Nintendo retains ownership of any Nintendo intellectual property that is contained in your user-generated content. Okay? Nintendo is not responsible or liable for any user-generated content. We are not responsible, blah, blah, blah. By accepting this agreement, you're, you give Nintendo permission to use and change your user-generated content in any way and for any purpose for free. More specifically, you grant Nintendo and its affiliates and subsidiaries a worldwide, royalty-free, irrevocable, perpetual, non-exclusive, and sub-licensable license to use, reproduce, modify, adapt, publish, translate, distribute, perform, and display all or any portion of your game and to incorporate your content. So... You guys can read through this further on your own if you'd like, pause the, the video, but what you what I would like to take away from this is that you only own your content and that you are responsible for mature rated stuff. So if there's a problem with your game, you own it and they can remove it and suspend your account. If they wanna monetize your game or resell your game, they have all of those rights to do so. You have no rights as a Game Builder Garage creator. So. I wanted to let you know what your rights were when it came to your creations. It is kind of a sad thing, but there isn't a lot of rights there. Only really if you make something inappropriate, then all of a sudden it's yours and they can cancel it. But what do you think about this? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys are having a great day.